Hi everyone, I'm Fabio and I'm a senior project manager with extensive experience in ICT consulting in different industries such as large distribution, telco and financial services. I love technology and uh, innovation and I'm always looking for new ways to solve problems and improve processes with the power of AI. That's why I created a prototype powered by generative AI to ingest documents and extract useful information from them. My prototype is a web application that I built using Streamlit, Langchain, Python, and Mistral 7B. It allows users to upload a PDF document and automatically categorize the document and extract the key information from it. So let's select a document. This is a policy of my car. Let me open it. Okay, we can see the preview of the document. Now, let's ask to AI Mistral, uh, what is the category? Let's push the button run and let's wait. And finally, we have the result after 1,200 seconds. Category is insurance policy. Let's try another document. Now I would like to try an invoice. For instance, this one. Let's open it. This is an old invoice. And now let's push the button run. Super. This is an invoice and we get the result in 714 seconds. And I would like to select an invoice and try to figure out the key data. Okay, this is the preview. Now let's export, extract the invoice data. Let's push the button run and let's wait. After 838 seconds, we receive the result. So invoice number, let's verify. And this is correct. Invoice date, 9 November, it's correct. Seller, emotive, it is. Total amount, correct. Let's select another document. So let's choose for instance, this one. Let's open it. So let's extract the voice data. Okay, let's see the results. Invoice number, date, seller, and total cost, and summary. Summary, COVID-19 antigen test, okay, super. Let's verify the other information. The date is correct. The seller is correct. The total cost amount, it's, it, it is here, it's correct. It works. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please leave a like and share this video. If you would like to receive the code, please leave a comment and I will share with you the code I've developed. See you next time.